Today we're gonna to be working at a nice beach condo. We're gonna show you guys how to fix a AC panel. Uh, it's just like a little panel, it looks pretty junky. But let's go ahead and show you guys what's up. Basically this is the AC panel they got. They got a little pancake unit. Basically what a pancake unit is, is the AC is up there and it just blows out this vent. It's basically an all-in-one thing. So instead of having a condenser outside and an air handler, it's basically an all-in-one unit. So what we are going to do is take these down and I got some paneling right here. And we're actually just gonna glue that on top of what's already there. So I was thinking about framing it in and redoing the frame, but then I was like, wait, I'll just glue it on top of the panel and that way it'll just stick right up there. So instead of having to redo the whole thing, you can just glue a little piece in there. It'll look nice. I'll show you what's up. We're gonna be using a caulk gun, some liquid nails, maybe a drill, probably not. And we're definitely gonna be using that saw. So they had three pieces in this one. I took this piece out and I got these two up here. So this is about a six and a half inch gap. I used a tape measure. Um, basically what I'm gonna do is add about three inches on each side of paneling. So it's probably actually gonna be one and a half this way and one and a half on the other side to make it even. And then that additional half inch will take up the, or quarter inch will go here and a quarter inch here to equal another half inch. So six and a half inches. What I'm gonna do is scoot the panel over one and a half, one and a half, one and a half times two is three. Multiply that by both sides, which is six. And then you got the other half inch. We're cutting out our first panel and this is the one behind it. And we're just gonna put it on the floor like this. And we're gonna glue this to the back of it, just like this. And we're gonna have one and a half inches this way and one and a half that way. I'll show you what that looks like later. We're gonna do two of them. So the trick when you're measuring it, you measure from obviously the edge and make sure it's pretty straight. I usually use what the factory gives. So this is a factory cut, like this is as straight as can be. And I measure off how far I'm looking to go and I'll measure from the bottom and the top. So the bottom and the top of the board, that way I have a line, as you can see my first line here and then the first line here. And then I grab a board like this and all I do is I line up these two lines right there. Obviously make sure the board's straight. And once you line it up, you just connect this line to that line using the board as your straight edge and you get a straight line. Um, and to cut on top of this, I'm literally just using a cardboard box and I'm putting this like towards its lowest edge or lowest edge. So I have like, you can see this flat piece. This just keeps the blade from whacking the ground, but this is adjustable. So if you don't know how to use one of these, there's a bunch of YouTube videos to show you how to do it. Um, but yeah, we're gonna slice this and then we're gonna glue it to the other board. I'll show you what we got so far on the inside. This we kind of had to do like a little rigging. Um, this trim board, it was like bulging down. So I just shoved some glue up in there and I'm using this makeshift thing to basically add some pressure so it has a good um, adherence. All right, so we got both boards up there. Uh, we got to put the middle piece in, but basically how you do this is you put it in this way and these th you see how this slides this way? It gives it just enough so it can slide down, but that's what that little quarter inch does. And it allows it to just sit on this threshold. So once you get these balanced out, I just had them balanced out. This little gap is what you're gonna have right here. And that's what this little piece is for. Try to do this one handed, um, but yeah, that's not gonna work out so hot. I'll just show you it back when it's up. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up. And then I'm just gonna put this piece in. Oh, actually I can do it. No way. Oh, I think I can. All right, so yeah, there. We're up there. Not really. Piece gets in and you just gotta finagle it in there. And then you gotta match it flush and that's it. Um, we're gonna fix this because you can see how this threshold is, or this uh, trim molding just kind of settling. We got to glue that back together and around there as well. We're going to make that look a little bit nicer. But yeah, that's it. So you can see how it looks instead of that dinky, nasty looking junk. 
Now you got this flush thing, so it looks pretty nice. Also, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use some of our leftover liquid nails under that, get that sealed down, put a weight on it. Same thing on this piece, some a little bit loose, not too bad. But yeah, that's how you uh, switch out a AC panel to make it look nice for a pancake unit. Thanks for watching, guys.